What's going on, YouTube? We are in round four. We're going to round five. I won the last round, so I'm 2-0 against company decks. And 0-2 and against non-company decks. Uh, my opponent last turn was played. Looks like he was kind of new, but it's all right. A win is a win is a win. So, again, we're trying to run off four in a row. So, hopefully, we can get up there a little higher. Let's see where I am going into the round. Sitting at 65. Though 63 has dropped, so I'm at 64. The three and ones go all the way down to 41. The two and twos go down to 85. So, I'm on the lower end of the two and twos, which isn't good. But all you can do is win. But yeah, let's get back to it. I guess someone in the chat was telling me to bounce. Pick up my Snapcaster, take another turn. Pick up my Snapcaster, take another turn. That's just gross. How does one take so many turns? I guess it works out with Jace because you can brainstorm your miracles away. Hopefully we don't play that. At least we got some good tools. Like I've got two decays, I've got four stubs, disdainful strokes, Thoughtseize Inquisition. <clears throat> On the die roll. Yeah, we'll keep this. Fetch. So like this, I'll scry here, and if I like what I see, I'll just go Godless Shrine. And this will get Breeding Pool. If I don't like what I'll see, I'll fetch it away. Opponent Mulligans. There are a few things. What is this? Oh, he's got a melee line. Oh, all right. We just saw like a little pause. And I was like, what's going on? My opponent did keep a card on top. But I would rather. So, does this automatically give me blue green? It probably does in order for me to cast Jace if I draw it. So, actually, I think I'm just going to look at his top card here Eldritch Evolution. All right. Okay, so I think we just take voice and then he's not doing anything. And then we just play Tarmogoyce and we just start beating down. The Tarmogoyce is going to be, uh, I would do a land which is unfortunate. So stomping Ground, Oath of Nyssa. Like we're going to be able to get into the Sakili run. We're going to be able to overwhelm these Planeswalkers. My opponent needs to draw like lands and spells. Yeah, and like lands isn't going to protect his creatures. Tilt. So this gets Overgrown Tomb. This gets Watery Grave. Let's make this large so we don't mess this up. Looks like I'm going to play a 4 or 5. We just need to have the battlefield insulated before this Jace comes down. That's not bad. Gives me some insurance against creatures. Then we can just beat down. Play this fetch land in case some shenanigans happen. My opponent's probably playing a Kiki Jiki Sahili Rai deck. Which is kind of cool. It's gonna be difficult to sideboard against this deck. And always the sideboard, this deck always has the option of like going over the top with their sideboarding, where they just board out their combo, they become sort of some rug value deck that well, sex against a lot of combo decks in the format. Okay, so let me do that. It is very good. Okay, that's not bad. Well, it's not good against combo decks, it's good against decks like mine. So. So now that they play Jace, they have to bounce. And then we just get under them. Voice Resurgence is annoying. Like, this is gonna be, it's gonna be difficult to win these next games. He's got the evolution. So we respond to him making mana here by fatal pushing this. Still gonna be able to play a Jace, but then either of our creatures are lethal because we have four fives.
I guess he still gets all of his mana. It doesn't really matter. But he has to present a blocker for my creature and present. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't know a lot about my opponent's deck. We know that they're like a Jess guy. I don't think Collective Brutality is actually that good against them. They play a bunch of Planeswalkers. The Planeswalkers probably good. I'm going to go with Liliana. It's not great. Stubborn Denial is probably okay. I don't think I have a lot of cards that are that great. Like, I could bring in Lingering Souls to pressure his Planeswalkers, or I could just destroy them. I think I'd rather just destroy them. Like, I feel like this, J this game definitely... I think this is a Jace game, because I think that this game could, like, bog down... If we're gonna look to play a longer game, I'm gonna cut Street Wraith. Probably these, this is also good. I want all the turn one interaction I can have so that I can handle like, yeah, let's cut one of these. I think this game's gonna go long though. I think they're gonna, they're gonna figure out how to bog down the board. Flying Tendrils is probably good too. Okay, hits creatures. I'm gonna cut a Tarn Wife. I don't think Goy's gonna be very good here, especially if they have cards like Scavenging Ooze. Maybe I should cut a, probably should cut a Traverse, but they're gonna clog the board up. I want like a couple creatures, but not too many. I do like cutting Tarn Wife sometimes in these decks. Like, I cut Tarn Wife against Elves from time to time. At least I used to when I was on five color, but I gotta figure out how to do things here. I'm gonna ship this, it's just not very. It's not very good. Yeah, keep this. We got a turn. Put that on top. This is a aggressive Death Shadow, which is nice. This is gets his watery grave. I'm gonna Inquisition first. Because we it's not like we can get punished for that if we had another Death Shadow, I would Thought Seize, because if we draw another Fetch Land, we go double Death Shadow, but we need to draw a dot, Death Shadow and a Fetch Land for that to happen. So I could just go... Jeez. So Sahili Ride doesn't really do anything. I think I'm just going to take this Lotus Cobra and then take this Jace. Just leave them with the Sahili. Takes away their turn 2 play. Knocks them off tempo a little bit. Surprised they didn't lead with a forest. I must have X'd out one of their cards because they have six. And let's see here. There must be a land. Let me look at my top card here because if I have another Thought Seize on top, I'll just. Thought sees the Sahili. It's an Inquisition, which is kind of unfortunate. Wish I could draw those in reverse order. But I'm just going to take this Jace. Inquisition is going to miss next turn, I think. Unless our opponent doesn't play the Sahili for some reason. Hopefully they ping me so I can get my Death Shadow into play. That would actually be nice. Then I draw, I'd love to draw a land so I can chase them. Okay. Ping me. Ping me so I can play Death Shadow. Yep. Nice. I'm probably going to cast this Inquisition anyways. Just hope that I hit. Let's so we get lucky. We got lucky. Now when they plus this, it grows Death Shadow too, so they're not even like staying at parity. I don't even think I'm gonna cast that because it doesn't get me like I need a blue land in order to get Jace. They did draw a spell. 
Like, I am going to be in trouble against this Sun Titan, which appears to be coming down next turn. Blood Braid Elf. All right. Into a Birds of Paradise. Opponents just like jam and ban cards. They put a card on top, so that's probably a. Um, if I had to assume, that's probably a Sun Titan. Probably a land for a Sun Titan. Oh, that's nice. Kind of. I mean, so I'll just. I guess I just abrupt decay this. And then get the Sahili off the table. Maybe they didn't keep a land and they're relying on that Birds of Paradise to cast the Sun Titan. That's what I can hope. The next turn I'll just traverse for another Death Shadow. Now here it comes. Now they're going to get back a Reflector Mage. Yeah, this is bad. And then, oh, they're going to get back Sahili. All right, so they're going to give me a shot. Oh, they're going to make a copy of it. And this gets back Reflector Mage. And it's got Hay, so I'm just actually dead. Didn't see that. Didn't see... I should have seen that. I just didn't even think about it. I mean, there's nothing I could have done to beat it. But it was worth it was worth noting. Like, I should have been on top of that. So, on the draw... I can cut, like, a discard spell. And then maybe bring back in a Goy from on the play to be a little more aggressive. Flying Tendrils doesn't seem very great. They, all their creatures seem to be a little larger. They're like a J stack. I think I want to bring mine in here. I think I just want to like disrupt, curve out, play a J and a crew advantage. Because like they're going to try to crew advantage as well. And I want to get underneath that. Okay, I'll keep this one. You like Veil there? But we saw Voice. Like Voice is like the anti Liliana card. That's a turn two shadow. And if we get a target, then I can go get another shadow if we find something to hit here. I guess the uptick on Lily is appealing. This is a much more threatening draw. Land. Hmm. I think I'm still just gonna traverse for a Death Shadow and play a Death Shadow, then hopefully hit a land. Though, though getting this Lily on a last hope and play is gonna be really good, I think. So let's just go, I mean, this is like, this doesn't feel great, but I think it's like the best decision that we have. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if they've got the Sahili, then they're playing off the top pretty effectively, right? Yeah, I hate traversing for lands and any sort of like resource. Ooh, Jesus. Now we're just going to get in there. I might not even play my Liliana, honestly. I might just, like, hold up Stubborn Denial. Like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to play it. There's no need. I'll play it next turn. I'll just have Decay. Yeah. Oh, it's on the old one land heater. Might as well just save my abrupt decay. Now I'm going to use the abrupt decay and just traverse for another death shadow.
<clears throat> Got him. All right, let me stop recording.